What does it mean to fully rely on God? There's an example in Luke chapter 8 verses 22 to 25 where the disciples are really aren't trusting in Jesus. One day Jesus said to his disciples, hey guys let's go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into a boat and set out. As they sailed he fell asleep. A storm came over the lake and the boat was being swamped and they were in great danger. The disciples went and woke him saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. So Jesus, he got up and he rebuked the wind and the raging waters. The storm subsided and all was calm. Where is your faith, he asked. I think you can see from that story how the disciples were fearful. They really didn't know who to put their trust in, who to uh, have their faith in, but clearly they weren't having their trust in Jesus to keep them safe um, and just generally to, to, to look after them. I know the real meaning behind the story is that later on the disciples are asking, who is this man? That even the wind and the waves are begging. But also, something we can bring away from this is that, well, Jesus is a man who we can trust. We can put our faith in, in every area of our life. But what does it mean to fully rely on someone? This reminds me of my, my holiday a couple of weeks ago, where on the, the journey over there, um, we were flying and I had to put my full entire faith and trust in the pilot. Now I couldn't just trust him with my suitcase um, to, get, to, get, to get over there or my clothes. In order to get to my destination I had to trust him with every single uh, part of my body, my whole entire life and my future. If me, he made one bad move then potentially that would, that would mean devastating things uh, for all of us passengers. So in Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. But then, in all of your ways, submit to him and he will direct you or guide you along the right path. This doesn't mean just turning to him when we're upset or when we're hurt, but also when we're happy, when we're stressed, when it feels like everything is going well for us in every single situation. We need to be trusting in him and trusting in him and looking towards him um, to help us. What does it mean to rely on someone? Well, as a student, I think I've really been having to rely on my student loan. Now, it's not a great thing to rely on money, finances, I'm gonna come onto that in a bit, but it seems like every area of my life, I'm having to look into my bank account just to check that I've got enough to survive um, for the next few weeks. Um, you know, I think relying on something or someone means checking up on that thing literally every five minutes or every day and literally letting it stretch into every area of your life. For me, my student loan has got to be able to pay for every area of my life, even if I don't want it to. In Luke chapter 9 verses 2, it says, Jesus was sending the 12 disciples and he says to them, take nothing for the journey, no staff, no bag, no bread, no money, no extra shirt. I'm sure you understand what he's saying here, but he's meaning, look, if you want to follow me, don't take anything else with you for the journey. Don't take uh, a backup plan, don't take uh, loads of other clothes just in case your ones uh, kind of get broken or messed up or anything. Do you understand what he's saying here? Only then, when we have nothing else, do we truly know what it means to rely on him. Finally, what does it mean to fully rely on God? Well, plenty of us uh, put our trust and our faith in, uh, in others, in our relationships, in our friends, maybe even our social status or our image. But actually in the Bible it says that we're called to follow him, to put our trust in him, to rely on him. Now a couple of years ago uh, when I first started uni it felt like things were going pretty well but then I realised that actually I have my trust in my friends and in my relationships and when those uh, broke apart it felt like my whole life was crashing around me. But that's when I realised that I could actually put my trust and my dependence on God. By reading the Bible and chatting with him, I realized that he is there. He is the firm foundation and that he is the perfect one to put my trust in. 
I don't know whether we should put, be putting our tr trust in someone like Rick Astley, um, because you know, in, in one of his songs he says that he's never going to give you up, uh, never going to let you down. But I've got someone better to put their trust in. Why don't you put your trust in God? You see, in the Bible it says over ten times that God will never leave you nor forsake you. And that's even more than Rick Astley in his song. So, is it going to be hard to fully rely on God? Of course. I mean, on the plane journey there, uh, that I was talking about earlier, there was a girl in front of me who, when we were landing the plane, she was absolutely in tears, she was crying, and she clearly didn't know what was going to happen. She was fearful, and, well, I think she was scared of the unknown. She didn't know whether we were actually going to land or not. But I'd like to say this, when we fully rely on Jesus, we have nothing to fear. So what are some practical ways that we can we can learn to fully rely on God? Well, first of all, I think it's great, like I said earlier, to, to read your Bible. It's quite easy to pick up a Bible if you don't have one, or you can find a free one online. But if you read your Bible, there are so many encouraging um, conversations and books and stories um, from God about how he is the one that we should be putting our trust and faith in and Jesus how many, so many times how he is the one who we should be putting our faith in to believe in. Other ways that we should be uh, really learning to to fully rely on God is by actually chatting with him. It's pretty hard to rely on someone like I was saying earlier if you don't actually chat with them. If you pray to God, if you chat with him then maybe you could even ask him God, what areas of my life am I not fully relying you with? What areas of my life am I not submitting fully to you? So with that in mind, I'm just going to leave you with this. In Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, it says, this is the Lord speaking, God, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. For the Lord, your God, is with you wherever you go.